Hello everyone and in this video I'm going to talk to you about Shivananda Yoga, the very first yoga practice I ever got into in 1989. So, who was Swami Shivananda and what is what is Shivananda Yoga? This is these are all the questions I'm going to be addressing in this video. So Shivananda Yoga is a system of yoga practice developed by Swami Shivananda right back in the 1930s and 40s when um, yoga was really uh, sort of beginning to take off in the West. And he was one of the huge influences along with Krishnamacharya and other great luminaries of the yoga world. So uh, what does Shivananda yoga represent and how is it different? How does it differ from some of the other mainstream schools such as Iyengar or other or Ashtanga Vinyasa, which is some of the more popular styles that we do today? So the unique thing about Shivananda yoga is that it's a very integral system. It includes not only Hatha Yoga, which includes Asana, Pranayama, Mudra and Bandha, but also devotional practices through mantra and chanting known as Bhakti Yoga, contemplative practice through discussion and philosophy, through the practice known as Satsang, where people of similar mind, uh, similar values get together and talk about um, spiritual subjects. This is known as Jnana Yoga. And Karma Yoga is also a feature of Shivananda uh, practice and community where you spend time in Shivananda centers or ashrams and offer your time uh, selflessly. So who was Swami Shivananda himself? He was actually originally a doctor back in the um, late 1880s and early 1900s uh, in Malaya. And he um, reached a point in his life where he wanted to renounce his worldly life and uh, devote himself entirely to spiritual awakening. So in 1924, um, he renounced everything and became what he uh, became Swami Shivananda, so a, a sannyasin, which is a, a complete renunciate. And in 1932, he established his own ashram in Rishikesh, which is still there today. So you can visit his ashram in Rishikesh. Uh, he also established the Divine Life Society uh, which he um, is the backbone of all his, his uh, literature, all his books, and he wrote about uh, 200 books um, on yoga itself. So he has a huge global reach. Uh, you may not have heard of him or seen him in the West, because what he did was he actually sent his key disciples to the West, and his most famous disciples are Swami Vishnu Devananda, who started all the Shivananda Yoga Vedanta centers, uh, Swami Satchitananda Saraswati, who uh, started the Bihar School of Yoga, and Swami Satchitananda Saraswati, who started Yogaville in the United States. So what all these schools have in common is that they offer a, an integral approach to yoga practice, where all of the uh, previous uh, techniques that I talked about are integrated into uh, every class. So um, what does a typical Shivananda Yoga class consist of? Well, you've got the daily chants known as the Dhyana Shlokas. You've got the, uh, and this kind of puts you into a spiritual mindset. So it makes you more spiritually receptive, which is really the highest goal of yoga, particularly classical traditional yoga. It's less health oriented and more spiritually oriented, even though Swami Shivananda did actually write quite a lot about the health related aspects of yoga as well. So then comes the pranayama practices before the asana practice, and these are a couple of bhati pranayama, uh, which is the, the pumping action of the abdomen, and anuloma viloma, which is what he, uh, in other schools, this is called nadi shodhana, and this is alternate nostril breathing. And then you've got the, uh, a classic 12 posture sequence, which was originally taught in the ashram in Rishikesh. Uh, and this system, is, this 12 posture sequence is based on the, the chakra system. Uh, at the end of every class, after the relaxation, you have a short chant again, which is based on the Mahamrachan Jaya Mantra, which is one of the most famous chants in India. So what are the benefits of working in this way? What are the benefits of doing a Shivananda style class as opposed to the kind of classes that might be taught in more um, in the more popular schools of today. So in every Shivananda class, you will have an asana practice based on the Rishikesh sequence. You'll always have some pranayama. There'll always be some mantra uh, based on the classical uh, mantras and the shlokas. And there'll always be a period of relaxation, visualization and meditation uh, where there is um, scope for that. 
So then you get this kind of rounded practice where uh, all aspects or layers of your being, including the, the body, including the mind, the emotions, and the general sense of um, oneness or union with oneself is addressed at its, as its highest um, core value. So there's, uh, so I've been at this uh, the game of Shivananda um, practice for many, many years, since 1989. Um, it's really the core of my practice, even though I've actually done lots of other practices as well. I've been involved in the Satyananda school. I spent time in ashrams. I've done other types of um, yoga, including Iyengar, Scaravelli, Ashtanga Vinyasa. Uh, and I've also cultivated my own kind of yoga approach uh, and teaching based on my uh, and written a book about it, uh, which um, is based on the Ayurvedic principles. Uh, but I have to say that really, uh, in terms of my daily practice, the core of my practice is still Shivananda Yoga, and I still uh, value it so much that I like to teach um, classes. So if you'd like to find out about my future Shivananda classes, do visit my website and uh, get in touch and uh, do also contact me with any questions or queries about the uh, approach, the Shivananda approach. So thank you very much. I hope you found that useful. And I look forward to hearing from you.